Hey gang, welcome back to Mark's 60 plus fitness journey. Today what I want to do is take you along with me for a little sneak peek into my diet. I've had a couple of requests to touch on and discuss my diet, so today we'll do just that. Uh, about six or eight weeks ago, uh, I swapped over from a ketogenic diet to a more conventional strength slash bodybuilder type diet. Or more specifically, uh, my macros are 40% uh, of my calories come from carbs, uh, about 20% of my calories come from fats, and about 40% of my calories come from protein. Now today's is a little bit askew from that, but not much. So let me show you what I had today, and then I'll get back with you a little bit later to wrap it up. Alrighty, meal one. I like to get something in my stomach before I work out. So I get up early enough to make me something about an hour before my workout. Today it was oatmeal, blueberries, protein powder, and monk fruit sweetener. And here you see the caloric and macro breakout. This was a good way to start. Good morning. 4.05 a.m. Pre-workout meal. I've got one cup of oatmeal, which is the, not instant, but the, um, old-fashioned oatmeal I put water in there and microwave it for between an uh, one minute and 45 seconds and two minutes this is one one minute and 50 seconds I've got one cup of frozen blueberries and um, four teaspoons of monk fruit sweetener in there and I'm gonna put one scoop of my whey protein. So this is my pre-workout. Okay, my second meal of the day is usually done by 8 a.m., if not earlier if I can. That's after my workout. And then three hours after that second meal, I'll have a third one around 11 a.m. And then about three hours later, I'll have a third meal around 2 p.m. Now it just so happens today, it was all one meal broken up into three sections. And this was chicken breast, two chicken breasts, brown rice, broccoli, olive oil, and Parmesan cheese. Now I made this concoction up the night before and had it ready to split up three ways today for my midday feedings. Okay, so what I've got here is a little concoction that will feed me twice during the day. Effectively, I've got two large chicken, chicken breasts here that I diced up and cooked up in a pot. So those are pretty tender and good. I've got one cup of brown rice here and four cups of frozen broccoli that I microwaved. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to mix all this in one bowl here and then add in one tablespoon, maybe two. I just don't want to use the extra calories. Start with one tablespoon of olive oil. Now, I'm gonna add in some salt. I have no idea how much this is. I tend to eat a lot of salt. Okay, now I'm gonna add my olive oil. And I'm going to add one ounce of shredded Parmesan cheese. And there you have it. That's two, maybe more realistically, three feedings during the day. Okay, it's a little before five getting ready to put together my evening meal and it's going to be french toast that's right because i can and it sounds good to me right now and by the way um greg doucette did not invent low calorie french toast i've been doing this for years years back in the 80s early 80s i was doing this stuff so uh anyway let's get to it let me show you what i do here all right, let's look at this afternoon slash supper French toast. 
basically three slices of white bread, these fairly thick slices, three cups of egg whites. I want to get a lot of protein here, some no sugar syrup, and some nonstick aerosol spray. And there you see the caloric breakout and the macro breakout. Okay, so I've got two cups of egg whites here. That may sound like a lot, but it's okay. Three slices of fairly thick, plain old white bread. And some canola oil. I spray it on my frying pan so it doesn't stick because my frying pan is no good. Now I'm just going to soak these in here for a good bit so we get a good soakage. And then I'm going to put them in the pan. Alrighty. And drop them in here. I have to do two and then one. So I'll cook these up and get back with you in a moment. If it looks like I'm going to have extra egg whites, I'll just put them in the pan, cook them up. Don't want to waste that. There you have it. My French toast for my afternoon, late afternoon feeding. Um, I put some uh, sugar-free syrup on there. And I'm going to enjoy this. Stay tuned for a complete wrap-up of the total caloric intake for today with a breakdown on the uh, protein, carbs, and fats. So I'm going to jump into this and I'll get back with you in a bit. Okay, so let's break down what I had to eat today, which is fairly representative of my daily diet. So today's total calories was 3,140. Total carbs, 329 grams. Multiply that times 4 calories per gram, you get 1,316 calories, which is about 42% of my caloric intake today. Total fats, 61 grams. Multiply that times 9 calories per gram to get 549 calories, which is about 17% of my caloric intake today. Total protein, 320 grams. Multiply that times 4 calories per gram. You get 1,280 calories, which is about 41% of my caloric intake. So pretty much, it was right on schedule and worked out well. Well, there you have it. That is a one-day sample of my current diet. Now keep in mind, this is my diet. Uh, it seems to work pretty well. The ketogenic diet worked well. Uh, just a little low energy and didn't have quite enough carbs in there to get a good strength workout. And this particular workout, I've raised my carbs up significantly and my protein up a little bit. Um, my fat intake is a lot lower. Uh, it seems to work well for my strength-based, strength training exercises. Again, what your needs may vary. Uh, um, this may work for you. I don't know. Um, my total caloric intake is right around 31 to 3200 calories a day. That seems to be working pretty well for me, so I might stick with that. Um, don't seem to be putting on any extra body fat. I seem to be getting stronger, so that's all good. So, hopefully that was informative or helpful. Um, so, if you have any comments, ideas, suggestions about this particular diet or what you do in particular, I'd love to hear it. Let us know. Diets are, are a funny beast. Uh, everybody's got their own version and take on it. So let us hear your version and take on what you eat. And if you're this far in the video, again, thank you so much. And if you would, click on that like button for me. That would be awesome. And if you haven't already, not to beat a dead horse, as I said, click on that subscribe button. That would be awesome too. And if you have already, thank you so much. And like I said, thank you for being here. And until next time, go get them. Mark out.